the Harvard Graduate School of Education, working at the nexus of practice, policy, and research. What would your life have been like if you hadn't had an education? What would your education have been like if you hadn't had books? That's why we started learning through libraries, because in El Salvador, kids don't get educations because they don't have books. Our project all started with just a small idea back in August. Nell and I met up and we both had a love of libraries and we met Deborah who had extensive experience in El Salvador. So between the three of us we put together this project that just grew month by month. Uh, and actually just when I got here the first day when we had our opening luncheon, I met Nell and Jill who had told me they were thinking about trying to put together a service project. They wanted to go to someplace Spanish speaking and they both shared interests in literacy and libraries. Most schools completely lack children's literature. So we started learning through libraries to fill this need. We have this great partnership with a publisher, an airline, and a Salvadoran NGO, which means we can get books in Spanish down there easily. And so after talking to Nell and Jill and seeing that they were really committed to this, I called the director of the National Book Drive, and who fortuitously just that morning had a meeting with somebody who had come in from the poorest municipality in the country wanting to start some libraries. Um, but the book drive had no books and had no money. They couldn't help. So we immediately decided to adopt the schools in Caluco, Sonsonate. Uh, we first started out in San Salvador where we did trainings with Zapate, the Salvadoran NGO that we worked with. And then after we kind of got our bearings in El Salvador, we went out into the communities. And for three days we did library trainings at a central office with all, lots of teachers, parents, and administrators who were all very excited about the project. So we ran three days of training in the morning from 9 to noon. And then we'd go into the communities, we'd split teams of three, three different teams, I mean, and then we'd go to the communities and create the libraries. We started with sorting and coding and color coding, making sure that the libraries were set up. And at that same time in the afternoon, we were doing the libraries, but we also had other teams working on the photo project and also the painting of the murals. We did a photo project with 11 of the kids, and they had never used cameras before. They were so excited. It was such an amazing experience because uh, just uh, seeing them sort of look at their lives in like new eyes and um, being introduced to their, for us, being introduced to their culture in that way um, was so illuminating. And they partnered with university students who also took wonderful, beautiful pictures that are in the library right now. Uh, yeah, so the exhibit opened uh, last week and the exhibit here behind me uh, shows the students' photos and also photos that, um, that I took and some of the university students from San Salvador who are sort of mentors and volunteers in the project. I think just the excite at the end of the first day of training was just, it kind of was one of those aha moments where you realized what a great idea this was and it was something that kind of was organic and it grew as we went along. But um, the parents, we had parents of all different literacy levels and they were so excited to have these centers of learning in their communities that um, just the collaboration and the energy in the room was really inspirational. That's why we don't want to stop here. I think the sort of heart of it is stories and the power of stories both through books and um, how important reading is uh, for child development. What's next? Uh, we, would, we just competed in the Social Enterprise Conference at the Harvard Business School and we would like to continue this project and maybe make it a January term course for the International Education and Policy Program cohort for next year. We think it's a great, it's a great uh, I guess, union of practice and research. We've already established three school libraries, donating over 2,000 books to over 550 children, and we hope it's just the beginning.